What is up guys? This is Odog and I'm back again with another exciting episode of Pasal Fam Community Game Casts. This is one of the most exciting episodes because we got to see a really good comeback by one of the teams from Pasal Fam Community. And if you guys ever wonder how you can join these lobbies, please go ahead and consider subscribing to Pasal's YouTube channel. I will put the link down in the description. And if you enjoy these casts, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and follow me on Twitch as well. I stream every single day on about 9.30 to 10 p.m. Indian Standard Time, and I would love to see you guys there. So let's not waste more time and let's get into the video. Good Five evening. Seconds. Good evening. Disruptor. Today, another Why? Saturday, another fun day for the Indian community lobby games with Pasal. So I'm back. We're gonna be casting uh, some lobby games today. So I'm kind of excited. The Radiant versus Dire. Anyone who's watching, if you guys haven't subscribed to Pasal's YouTube channel, please go ahead and do that. Um, these are just fun lobby games that happen uh, every Saturday at Basalt's YouTube channel. Uh, definitely, definitely, it is going to be a fun uh, lobby for today. So we have uh, the subscriber from subscribers from YouTube channel of Basalt. If you guys are not aware of that. going further this is gonna be the game number one for today our ancestors smile upon us right <clears throat> So let me introduce you to all the players and the heroes that we have. Um, number one, we have a man has no name who's going to be playing Pudge on uh, the Radiant side. OG, don't touch my main. Uh, will be on Juggernaut. Oh, I think it should be a remake. Once it's connecting. I'm not sure. Feud is going to be the Dark Fellow. Dami. I think uh, he's going to be playing mid lane. He's playing uh, Bloodseeker. And uh, we have uh, Blacklock, one of the divine players from Indian uh, Dota 2 community. He is going to be on uh, the beautiful Dragon Knight. Moving on to the dire side, we have Pasol, who's going to be playing Zeus. Oh, wow. All right, somebody came in. <laughs> Thank you for following. <laughs> Um, did I miss you? Nitesh, but thank you, thank you so much uh, for following. Nitesh, I hope you're doing well. Right, coming back to the game. Um, Shania, all right, I think this is a new player. Shania is playing Axe. Uh, Pasal is going to be on that mid lane on Zeus. We have Arcane, who's playing a lion. Uh, we have Rocker, who uh, will be on the Phantom Assassin position. One question mark is uh, going to be. Playing Disruptor for this game. Luffy Madra, hello. How are you, man? All right, both the sides, you can already see some aggressive wards uh, coming out from both the sides. Meanwhile, uh, the small camp has uh, been blocked as well. And uh, the side camp for our, uh, the Dyers. So the Dyers are seemingly active on blocking the pull camps. We want to hold on to the sides. Hello, Parth. <laughs> Thank you for following, Parth. I hope you enjoyed what you just saw. Uh, I'm good, I'm good. How are you? Thank you for asking. I'm doing good. Yeah. Oh, I think there's, there's definitely a problem in the server. Somebody's uh, connecting over and over. I, I would really want to see how Phantom performs in this particular game because, you know, a man has no name has been a good friend to me. Uh, it's been a while. So 
since we have uh, started playing Dodos. I, I would really want to see what this guy can do in this particular game. I haven't, I've never really seen his punch. So I would really want to see what uh, he can do. <laughs> my my name my name is Furujin. My name is Furujin. But people know me as O Dog. Or PJ. Uh, the the Filipino community know me as PJ. Uh, Indians like Furujin, because of course the Indian name is like it's the best one. Instant nice follow notification, I know. I mean, see, you guys are here to watch a stream, and a stream needs to be entertaining and funny. If stream is not funny and not entertaining, I mean, why would you watch it? So, if somebody is, <laughs> you know, getting a laughter out of my stream, I mean, why not? It's, it's always fun, you know? Fun to make people laugh. The aggressive words, yeah. Who's who's marking? Someone else with me. Let's see what are the starting items. Okay, if I just come up with a ring of region, Vindelays would want to rush. Probably tranquil boots, stick, stick, double stick, carry. Dami is going to be playing with. Okay, so it's an off lane, dragon knight. We have. Hmm. Feud has. Feud is playing Dark Willow. Plus all. all right. Just three branches in a century. No. What? Okay, he's, he's probably Russian bottle. Some stats. Rocker. All right. We can already see some aggressiveness coming out from Blacklock. Would want to go in. Would want to try and take uh, the rune. Oh, the hook. Yep. We'll be able to land it. Some damage. Um, no region on Rocker. Okay. And he's just going back into the lane. Oh, oh, Rocker, you gotta get chased, man. Yep, there's gonna be the stun question mark. It's coming from behind, trying to give him damage. I think we might be able to see a first blood pretty soon in this game. A man has no name, does have a hook. Let's see if he will be able to land it. He's coming out of the block and black locked. It's gonna be a little too close because, you know, punch. He, he just pulls back his hand. And so Rocker will be safe here. He's picked up an uh, iron branch to also bring up some uh, tangos. Uh, sure, tango. Coming into his place. Rocker. A little bit annoying uh, for the Thunder Strike. Meanwhile, let's look at the mid lane. Fasol versus Dami. Both, both of them have been really good friends for a long time. So I think they know. You know. Oh, meanwhile. Uh, I kind of missed it. First blood being taken away by Feud. Shania goes down for... Shania. Shania goes down. Wait. Shania or Shania? I don't know. Huh? Shania. Okay, Shania. Shania goes down for the next 10 seconds, and <laughs> she used one by the time I came back. Alright. Uh, I wanted to watch the mid lane, yeah. So, mid lane scenario, Dami, 5 to 1. 5 hits. Last hits and uh, 1 denial. Meanwhile, Pasal with 2, alright. Another kill on the top lane. I think Rocker is gonna get punished for not buying enough region early game. It's gonna go down. Patiently waiting. Black Lock also seem to be on a low HP, a little bit low. Does have a Thunder Strike. Question mark. Probably want to get a little aggressive there. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, the patient. Uh, I just hope that you're enjoying. Oh, again, onto the top lane. Black Lock is going to be very low there. Looking out. One more second cooldown. Black Lock goes into the corner. Will they be able to find him? Oh, my Shikmark dives a little too deep in. A man has known him coming in from behind. Does have enough mana for him to be able to... Hook. Oh, the straight hook is gonna miss it. And PA is gonna slow him down. Which means Question Mark is gonna live. But Question Mark being on that low HP will give a lot of advantage to Dami. Dami will be able to move ahead and will be able to pick up uh, the rune. Side water rune is definitely gonna be helpful for them. Arcane looking out for the pull onto the off lane, trying to maintain the equilibrium. Would want to deny out the wave, just a general thing that usually happens in the game. And we can already see um, an aggressive ward from Dire's side. So here's the thing that I really like about you know Dire. They have placed their wards on the right spot. Also because playing against the Pudge, you definitely need vision. If you're not playing against the Pudge, it's, it's, it's hard. Oh, wow. 
Heart has gifted a sub. Thank you so much for gifting a sub. And you have gifted a sub to Yuhang. Wait, yeah, Yuhang, are you watching? Is Yuhang here? If you guys do not know, thank you so much, Parts, for gifting a tier one, man. I super appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. By the way, if you guys do not know, um, Yuhang uh, is uh, ranked 400 in Southeast Asia. He is the Division 2 uh, Southeast Asian English caster. If you guys don't know, you guys can follow Yuhang TV. He's, the, he's really good, and his insights about the game is... On the next level, I mean, you can just imagine a 400 ranked immortal. So, I mean, the type of insights that he could give. I can easily call him like a Southeast Asian Seb. Like, he's, he's the Seb for Southeast Asia. Real high game sense, man, this guy. But thank you so much, Parth, again, for subscribing. Thanks, man. Right, taking you back to the game. That's all. All right, taking some damage. Heavily jump has been exceeding. Meanwhile, onto the top lane, some action going on. And Phantom Assassin is gonna get hooked, but Rocker will be able to escape with the help of Blink. Wanna go and Blink onto Disruptor? Looking out for a slow. Onto a man has no name, taking decent amount of damage. Again, there is gonna be the Thunder Strike, and Rocker's gonna jump in, but no Black Hawk coming in from behind with a Dragon Tail of two levels. And uh, decent amount of damage being dealt. By Pud's Rot alongside some right clicks that came out. And Phantom Assassin goes down for the next 10 seconds. Meanwhile, bottom lane. All right, there's going to be the call. And don't touch me. Don't touch my main point. He's running away into the trees. It's a little too close to that. 4 HP. Was able to survive. Field standing still. I think he probably lagged or some shit. Yeah, he did. They're trying to take up the kill on. But there's an instant pause. Uh, pause. Arcane did try it. So Rocker did die once, which means he had to come back to the lane. He's losing some experience. It is going to be a little bit hard for him to be able to recover because, of course, Dragonite is a whole level ahead. Dami, again on the mid lane, level 5. Pasal is a little behind in terms of experience if you look at... Four minutes in, 22 to 17 last hits. Definitely. Bloodseeker has been one of the strongest uh, laners in this particular patch. Uh, Juggernaut had to travel back uh, to base, coming back onto the top lane. Oh, yeah, there is going to be the Stun of Man has no name. Will not be able to land the hook onto Disruptor, and Rocker saves the day for Disruptor. Get so, then uh, Blink's back. Dami has been dominating the mid lane. Pasol seemingly... It is a little bit of a hard lane for Pasol, definitely. I mean, just consistently heals in the lane by last hitting. Bloodseeker is uh, back to meta, guys. It was a little off a few metas ago, and uh, now Bloodseeker is back. Oh, a man has no name. Let's see if he will be able to land a hook. He's looking out. Oh, yeah, he gets it! And the kinetic field. Ah, the stun is not gonna be on the right time. There's gonna be the pop. Arcane with a beautiful TP. They'll be able to hex, but he is about to go down. And yes, Rocker secures the kill. And now it is the turn for Blacklock. Let's see who is gonna go down. Rocker's gonna be super low HP, trying to slow him down. And there's gonna be the stun from Arcane. There are no more spells. Arcane is taking decent amount of damage from the creep wave. And I think Phantom Assassin might end up going down there. It's gonna be the attack speed, but Basol coming in with a big time raid. And yes, saves the day for Rocker. Secures the kill, and the dragon rests for the next 17 seconds in the fountain. Oh, there's gonna be the kinetic field making question mark run away. You have to come close. It's ruptured. Won't be able to run away. I think this is gonna be an easy kill for Dami. Arcane will miss out on the kill, and there are no more spells. Does have the mana drain, won't be able to save him. Dami consistently right clicking him down. Meanwhile, a man has known him, has taken away the kill. And now Pazal coming in from behind, trying to be the savior. Arcane is gonna get a little too close. There's gonna be silence. Will he be able to escape? Dami comes in. Pazal does not have enough amount of mana, and yet Dami will be able to escape. 40 HP, 10 HP. That is a hell lot of a speed, and I think he is gonna deny himself. Bill come back in action after 25 seconds after securing a decent kill on that mid lane. Blacklock has popped uh, the Elder Dragon form. 
There is gonna be the stunner, man. Has no name coming in from behind. There's gonna be the breeze fire. Let's see if the ticks are gonna work on a man. And Rocker, he's looking out for an escape. He is gonna be very low. Pops the magic stick. Punch will be able to escape there. And there is gonna be the dragon tail coming out. Question mark is trying to run away. One more right click. Black log is not gonna stop there. Meanwhile, onto the bottom lane. Shania is trying to escape. He's got, she's gonna get silenced. He won't be able to escape away. And Shania is gonna go down. I mean, there's gonna be the call. Juggernaut secures the kill. Meanwhile, Arkin is trying to escape away for his life. He does not have any spells as of now. There's gonna be the silence coming in from Dami. Silence will be able to land it. It will connect. And inside the tower, he will have to give his life. Pasal comes in. Kinetic field. What a perfection. And there's gonna be Thunderclap. Will the damage be enough? Pasal trying to get a little close. Feud coming in with a Bramble Maze. Trying to push him back off. And there's gonna be Dominator. Who will be able to escape. Pasal. And yes, there is gonna be the wrap. This is exactly what I was expecting. That will come out. Thunder God's Wrath did come in. Black Lung seemingly does not really want to stop. He is still going in. And now Rocker has hit level 6. There is no damage being taken away by Black Lung. No criticals yet. The mists are also going to be there. There is the Soul Ring. If he uses the Soul Ring, he might end up going down. The stun comes in with the magical one from behind. A man has no him. Come in to save the day for Black Lung. And yes, there is going to be the kill. Hey, did you get, uh, sub-gifted just confirming Twitch crash after the payment went through? Oh, yes, I did, I did. You have gifted, um, a sub to you, Hang TV, and he is also a caster for Southeast Asia. You can already see that square that says one on you. That means you are the top, uh, gifter for my channel. And thank you so much, I super appreciate it, Barth. Thank you, thank you. Oh yeah, so 2k gold lead, 9 minutes in, 12 to 3, Dami has been consistently dominating the mid lane. Pasol there, eh, it's got a few kills here and there, but definitely Bloodseeker is just the stronger one here. Dami, oh, gets a little close to Pasol, there's gonna be... Disruptor. Let's see if he will be able to call him back, yes he will, there's gonna be the kinetic field. The silence is also gonna be there. Oh, the stun onto two, but they will be able to secure the kill. Meanwhile, onto the bottom, the man has no name. is now dominating in this game. Getting close to Shania. There's gonna be the stun. They are looking out for the curse crown. No mana, though. All right, he will pop up. The magic stick looking out for the hook. The hook is gonna get blocked by Dark Willow. But Feud will be able to secure the kill on Shania. Shania goes down for the next 19 seconds. Black Log looking out to take the stacks for PA. PA. Definitely struggling a little bit in this one particular game. 10 minutes in. A tone pickup. Onto Lion. Hmm. Oh, Alright, there's gonna be the callback. Into the Static Storm and the Kinetic Field. They are patiently baiting him out. There is no stun. Arkin coming in from behind, but he is gonna be a little too late. And yes, there's gonna be the ulti into his spin. Don't touch my main point. They'll be able to secure the kill. And a few trying to escape away for his life. There's gonna be the heal. And Dami trying to connect with his teammate, Shania trying to run away for her life, but it is not going to work out because you are ruptured, my friend. You are going to go down for the next 22 seconds. Meanwhile, Pasal also goes down to OG, don't touch my main. Back to the mid lane. Fortification coming out from the dire side. There is going to be a callback. Black log. Yep, he will be called back. Arcane coming out with... Oh my god, with the hex. Let's see if the levels are going to be enough. And yes, Basal. With the beautiful range of lightning bolt alongside Wraithfire. Ah, Thunder God Wrath will be able to secure that kill. Sometimes I do mess up with the spells. My bad, guys. Oh. Oh, a man has no name. He's getting a little close. Will be... Oh, no, that was a little too close. Well, Pasol's eyes are everywhere. Clean sidestep. Won't be able to land that hook. Again, man has no name looking out for the next target that he can get. He's going for the Blink Dagger as the first item. Let's look at the net worth chart. It is going to be 4.6k for Blacklogged and 4.6k for Dami. Both of them are consistently being on the top. 
for for the radiant side and a 3k gold lead in uh, 12 minutes in level 9 level 8 that's 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 uh, pretty decent fudge yeah really strong there Pasol is uh, gonna get spotted he does oh, oh all right jumps in onto the high ground and there's gonna be a feud will make him run away he is ruptured will he be able to stop yes he's a oh no the high ground miss there's no way Pasol is gonna escape my lord that is gonna be the luckiest high ground miss ever <laughs> Pasol will be able to escape what a beautiful repositioning of heavenly jump by himself and now there's gonna be the static storm into the kinetic field arcane doesn't have the finger of death will be able to land it on the feud will they be able to secure the kill on feud yes they will plus all with a lightning bolt looking out for the chase a man has no name looking out for the hook will be able to land it on the disruptor but disruptor has sent him back onto the top lane after securing the kill he is gonna get a little late there very interesting game and the connections that are happening in the game of Dota 2 are just insane. The twins. Well, <laughs> it is definitely a fun lane. Shania has come up uh, with a Vanguard boots in a double ring of region. We want to go for the Blink Dagger next item. Meanwhile, let's compare the carries. So we have PA, uh, who has a. Orb of Corrosion alongside Power Treads. Meanwhile, OG Don't Touch My Main Point has a... Uh, face Boots and a Javelin, okay? Hmm. Blacklogged. Compared to Shania. I mean, he's uh, he's definitely a little behind. Uh, he's definitely a little above. Blacklogged is above uh, Shania. 3.8k to 5.2k. Hmm. If you guys are still watching, you guys can go ahead and throw your predictions uh, down in the chat. Who do you think will be able to win this game? I, I think... I think there's always a potential to be able to come back into this game because after increasing the bounty in the previous patch um, on killing heroes, the comeback potential is just insane. So I, I, I would really want to see what... I, I mean, I love comebacks, so I would really want to see... Oh, oh! Man has no name. I showed up that there is a ward. And the ward is about to go down. Eight seconds. Oh, Lion is going to get some good gold. 153. Let's see. Radiant. Mm. Yeah, I mean, right now the graph will also say Radiant because the graph has never been to the dire side. It's been equilibrium from the beginning and then going on further. You just want to get there. Arcane. We want to get a little close. Oh, yep. We'll be able to land uh, the Hex. Does have enough amount of vision. Looking out for the spin. Oh, he has spin. He has no mana. Does have 7 six charges, though. We want to call him back into the silence. No silence. Oh, no. Lion is going to go down. Oh, no. He will be able to escape. He'll be able to land that stun. And from behind, Rocket comes in. Oh, my God. That is gonna be the unluckiest OMD slash I've ever seen. One slash away. Shania is gonna get a little too close to the Bloodseeker. And yes, there's gonna be the rupture of Lock Lock coming in from behind. We'll be able to connect onto him, and Shania won't be able to escape, I believe. No! Ah, oh, my lord. Amazing. Gatsby, thank you so much. The Gatsby25298, thank you so much for the follow. Super appreciate it. I hope you're doing well. A three man smoke uh, coming out from Team Dire. And uh, they have already noticed that uh, Team Radiant is going to be onto that high ground. But if the BS is dead, then Graph changes. I mean, you're not wrong. The Graph can change any minute. Oh, there's going to be a three-man. The spin is down. There is going to be the kinetic field. I think they will be able to call him back. Yes, they will. The stun will connect from Arcane. Pasol getting a little close. A man is not even looking out for the heck. And again, it is going to be on the Disruptor. Pasol 
Does have some escape. There's gonna be the rupture. He's looking out to pull him back. And the ulti will just work out. Meanwhile, the stun will also connect. And Blacklock will be able to secure that kill. Arcane is now looking out for an escape. Blacklock does not have it. A man coming come from somewhere. And looks out for the hook. Will be able to land it. Three men down. Juggernaut did go down, but a man... A three man trade. Uh, I don't think it was worth it. Black locked. Oh, jumping in again. Landing that stun on Shania. Meanwhile, a man has no name will miss the hook. Shania consistently looking out for the farm. Question mark. Comes a little close, Shania. Being called back by the team. Rocker. Still gonna stay there. Is about to hit uh, the Battle Fury. 2k gold lead again. And they're still holding on to it. Oh, oh, oh. A man has no name. You looking out for the hook? Arcane? Oh no, he is gonna miss the hook. But get spotted. Oh, there is gonna be the finger of death into the silence on uh, Phantom Assassin. Black Lock being called back. Pasol. And yes, they will be able to secure the kill Arcane with a good stun. A five man on Black Lock. A little bit of a hard time. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Don't touch my main. Still onto the top lane, looking out to clear out the waves and push. You can see how Team Dire is just playing all together. <laughs> That's all we're doing it. Yeah, I think I think he has okay farm. He's very close to the first item of the uh, first piece of uh, Ags in uh, level 12. It's, it's super decent for. Someone who actually dominated the lane because, you know, he had Bloodseeker and Bloodseeker was like really dominant in this game. You can really feel the, like, it has a lane presence that you're gonna feel it. It's not like you're just playing against someone random. And Dami is like pretty high MMR. I think he's Divine 5 or Immortal. So it's, it's, you know, you, you'll be able to feel it. The Ward Denial coming out from Arcane. There is going to be a double damage rune. Team Dire has vision over it. Black Log is going to get close. I think they would want to bait. No? Uh, they're going to pick it. Team Dire knows that Dragon Knight has picked up a double damage. Meanwhile, onto the top lane. Ring of Health. Was the last item that was needed to be able to complete the battle tier. Meanwhile, Team Radiant coming in with a smoke. Question mark. Gets a little close. Black Lock jumps in. They'll be able to land that stun. There's gonna be the silence as well into the Bramble Maze. And a couple more right clicks of the double damage. They'll be able to secure the kill. Punch. A man has no name. It's gonna be closed as well. Oh, there's gonna be the jump. Shania misses the call. Get silenced. There's the BKB on this Blood Seeker. Oh, yeah, there is gonna be Rupture. And a man has no name. They'll pull him. There's gonna be Hex. Shania still standing, won't be able to escape away. And yes, Feed will be the first one to secure the kill. Oh, the Omen Flash comes in, but unlucky creep wave. Pasol jumps in. Oh no! Black Hawk is gonna call. Three of them into kinetic field. From behind, Rocket comes in. And a big time impale. The Earth Spike will be able to connect on the two. The Hex is gonna be there as well. They will be able to turn it around. A little bit of a mistake from a man who has no name. And there is gonna be vision on Black Lock. They are looking out for the jump. The Blink Dagger is gonna get cancelled. Triple kill for Rocker. They are looking out to change the game. The tables are turned, ladies and gentlemen. There is gonna be the change in graph. We can already see the swing. Let's see for how long Team Dyer will be able to maintain the swing. OG, don't touch my main point. Again, we're gonna show up onto the bottom lane, but a triple kill for somebody like Phantom Assassin could be deadly for these guys. Again, it's not gonna catch anyone up there. Yep. Yes. Arcane Rune pickup from Dami. Shania on that. In the jungle. 
Hmm. They would look out for a smoke, I believe. They would want to smoke. Yep. Everyone's active. They have their ultimates. Not the kinetic velo, all right? It's gonna be up in three seconds. Oh, Bloodseeker, but he does have a blink dagger. Oh, yeah. There's gonna be the hex into the callback. There's gonna be a stun and the finger of death. No chance of turning on or popping onto that BKB. Instant crash. Oh, the hook is gonna miss. Pasal gets a little close, would want to get away. A man has no name looking out, gets a little close, seemingly confused. The heavenly jump is also going to be there, and Pasal... No. Oh, there's going to be the Thunder Clap, which is going to secure the kill. So kill goes on to Disruptor, who has butchered the Butcher. Yep, the graph steps change. The, the, the tables have turned right after that triple kill for rocker i mean it's it's just gonna change i mean he's very close to a bkb as well and once pa gets his bkb i mean they do have all the right click damage but you know when pa gets that bkb your spell immune you can jump onto anyone you want and it's pretty easy for pa to be able to dodge that only slash so you have to be very cautious about how things are going to work. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Black Logged will be sent back. They will be able to save Shania. Could have stunned there. <laughs> yeah, I mean... You're not wrong, but what I also feel is like there was a little bit of a miscommunication when the fight happened here. Like the high ground to low ground, so that is that is also something that we have to think about. The players are patiently waiting 10k and 8k. Look at that. The net worth has changed. Amazing. Dyer's middle tower. Those changes are insane, man. It is gonna be a five-man smoke coming out from the Radiant side. Dyer's they would want to get a little aggressive. Oh, you're not gonna spot anyone there. But don't touch my main point. Has revealed himself. The whole team is gonna be up there. Assault ulti. Got wasted. Not gonna spot anyone. But I think they already know they're pinging. Pasal has told these guys that they are playing on the triangle. They're trying to take cover on this triangle. They are aware. Team Dyer is aware. Wait, it's scared. Does not catch anyone. A Mjol near pickup, okay? On Juggernaut, comparing it to PA, <clears throat> Rocker Radiance has uh, Battle Fury and almost a beat, almost 700 gold. Looking out for that push. Black Log is gonna tank. Beeps are gonna come in as well. Meanwhile, Mid Tower getting pushed by the Dire side for the Radiant one, and Radiance Team Radiant would want to take away the bottom tower, which is gonna be tier two. Hmm. Let's see. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Radiance middle tower has fallen. Radiance top tower. Three K goal under lead, attack. and the graph is now in the favor of Team Dyer. And they have cleared out the wave. Lion is teeping in. Dyer's bottom tower has fallen. Won't be able to save. The tower, he'll just give it up. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, all right. Multiple blink that Pasal is instantly gonna die. 
Rocket coming in from behind. Does have a BKB. He's gonna get ruptured. He's gonna stay still. Arcane leaning the stun as well. Feud is gonna go down. And now Lion is on an escape. He does have a blink dagger. Looking out for the blink. Did not blink a little too far. Meanwhile, onto the other side. Don't touch my main. Goes a little close. There's gonna be the brick. He does have Omni Slash. Will he be able to land it? He lands it on the two. Shania does not have a call now. But there's gonna be the slow. And yes, Rocker will be able to secure that kill. Meanwhile, Bloodseeker is gonna go back. He will be able to escape. Hmm. What a game. What a game. Shania. For the twins. It's gonna stay there. Let's have a blink. I mean, she showed up the blink. Hello, hey doc, how are you? A man has no name. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Lisa Ward. Radiance bottom tower has fallen. Man has no name. Gets a little close. All right. Fudge. Ah, he knows. He knows. <laughs> gonna get caught. Disruptor. And gonna get spotted. He will land the kinetic field on a two. That's not gonna work out. <laughs> Amanda's donate was a little patient there. Oh, Rocker coming in. Wow. It is gonna be an easy double kill. A couple of hits for this Phantom Assassin. Meanwhile, the chase is up. There's gonna be Dami. Jumping onto the face of Lion, pushing the Demon Witch back to hell for the next 42 seconds. Alongside Disruptor, of course. Juggernaut also going for the BKB. Yes, cute the BKB. Oh, an axe, okay. Cast the blur, okay. I'm gonna get the blur back if you get the kill. Blacklock, gonna be there, Shania. The blink is on cooldown. Juggernaut tried pushing top, would want to back off now. Team Dire consistently controlling the whole map. The early game seemed really hard for... for, for the Dire side, but now they're consistently dominating. Both the teams are being very patient. Probably they would want to pick up uh, the Ages of Immortality, and that is going to be something that we have to see. <laughs> so pain. Yeah. That voice line is actually pretty cool. It's funny when somebody dies and, like, you can put it down. And again, now, there's gonna be the fight. The Radiant Scan is gonna work out. <clears throat> a four-man smoke from the side of Dire. They would want to get a little aggressive. Looking out to take the top tower, I believe. Oh. Alright, they're gonna back off. Rosal is gonna stay there. He's gonna call his teammates. The vision is gonna be there. And I walks into that. They will be able to spot him. I think Rosh is something that they need. Both the teams actually.
looking at the itemization of uh, both the sides. We have um, Feud with a Blink Dagger. We have Dami with a BKB. Blacklock is also going to be with a BKB. Ags on Pasal, Ags on Rocker. Double Glimmer, Cape Arcane, and Question Mark, respectively. A Blink Dagger on Shania. Going for, she's also going for a heart. All right. Oh, Rocker gets a little close. Pops up the BKB. Black Lock is also going to pop the BKB from behind. Arcane is going to join in, instantly getting stunned. And Rocker is not going to stop. He's going to get rooted. There is going to be the rupture. The rupture. And Ami is going to get called back. He pops up the BKB. Shania is going to get a little too close. The man has no name. has bought back. And there's going to be the Omni Slash. Gets a little too close. Shania will be a little... That's going to be double kill by Shania. Insane. And Rock is not going to stop. Pasal secures the double. Rock is not going to go down. Still be able to secure the killer. It's going to be a whole five man wide. And Shania is going to be the MVP for this fight. What an insane call timing that was! That was quite insane. I don't know if it was... If it was so calculated, he was able to land that. That's insane. Amazing. Very well played. And now, they would go for Rush, a five-man wipe. They have the control over the Rush pit. And it's going to be easy for them. They will be able to take the Rush now. Arcane. It's going to be there. Regeneration. And a Rush pickup. 32 minutes into the game. <clears throat> First, Agents of Immortality being taken away by Rock Rocker. Team Dyer dominating now 12k gold. Look at that graph. Look at the swing. And now it is completely in the favor of Team Dyer. 96% win possibility for the Dyer side and 4% for the Radiant. Radiants are definitely struggling now. The game has changed and this is exactly what I was talking about. I love comebacks. I love to see how players can react to the comebacks. I mean, mid-game was really hard for the Dire side, but they were able to maintain their patience in the game, and they did the right moves. Right after that triple kill that happened here, and then consistently losing fights, they were able to. They were able to come back into this game. This comeback was OG. You're not wrong, Mother. Or Luffy. <laughs> With two names. Definitely... Definitely, I'm going to agree to that. Uh, the, the comeback was OG. Also, guys, um, if you guys haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, you guys are going to find a link below. You guys can subscribe to my YouTube channel. I am, I was a little bit inactive. I'm home for the next 20 days. I think it's just going to be two weeks. So I will post a few videos. Usually, um, I record these games, and I like to post these games if you guys want to watch it as uh my series for indian dota 2 community games so i have one more game that i have to post it was quite an insane game and then i'm gonna be posting this one as well i mean as many games as i can cast that is my content and sometimes my twitch clips if i'm able to make a clutch while streaming of course so that is that is going to be something that uh, i'm going to try and do I don't know how it's going to turn out to be, but if you guys want to support, you guys can go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. So I'm, I'm just trying to post whatever I can. Hello, Gatsby. Oh, thank you so much. I'm, I'm, I'm super thankful that you're here and you're enjoying. I'm glad. And I, I, hope, I hope someday I will be able to make there. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I super appreciate you guys being here. There, ah, there's nothing that can stop this man. That line is... That line is insane. <laughs> Divine. On to the bottom lane. There's gonna be the silence. It's not, oh, it will connect. Right. It, it will connect on uh, Phantom Assassin. They're gonna buy some time. Assassin is blurred. Won't be able to see her on the minimap. And won't be able to see in reality, of course. Maybe Blur's like kind of invisible that you get to see. 
And this blur is pretty long. I mean, when you have uh, the scepter, it just comes back. And there's a dispel every time you get a kill. It's really strong. Can I want to take it? All right. Oh, there's the rupture. A man has no name. Should be looking out for the hook. Will be able to land the hook. There's going to be silence. And yes. The call is going to be there, but a man has no name. It's going to go down. The Agents of Immortality is going to go down. for all the double ulti. Not enough amount of mana. They'll be able to land it. Oh, the callback. On to Blacklock. Blacklock is gonna get spotted. He's gonna get broken. Does have the BKB? The root on Shania. They are diving a little too deep. Shania is gonna go down. The right clicks are gonna be insane. Perfect positioning for Dragon Knight. He will be able to survive in this fight. Shania goes down. A little bit of an overcommitment, I should say. Diving a little too deep. I mean, you're gonna get punished. Oh, Rocker is a little close. He's gonna jump in. All right, into the finger of that. They'll put Juggernaut to rest and there's gonna be break. Dragon Knight does not have the BKB and neither does Phantom Assassin. Let's see who will be able to win the fight. Arcane coming out with a stun. There's gonna be silence. Meanwhile, onto the other side, but will be able to land the kill and they'll be able to get it on to feud. Big mistake being made by Team Radiant getting out of the base. They should have fought for the high ground. Team Dire was able to bait them that bait them outside and were able to win this team fight. And now they are seeking out to take the tower. Oh, a man has no name. Gets close. Will not be able to land that hook. Phantom Satin still ruptured. Gets blurred. Looking out to close the gap between them and the bottom tower. The hitter is gonna be a little too low. They have to look out for an escape. They are looking out to get back. Thirst is up, which means Dami can definitely see where Phantom Assassin is. But the regen that comes out from Morbid Mask is going to be something that is there. Double damage onto the bottom side. 22.7k gold. Looking at the graph again, 97%. Team Dire are consistently winning fights. And if, if you look at the inventory, you want to compare the mid laners. We have a refresher orb on Pasol. We have... Um, a scepter on Pasol comparing it to the Radiant side, which is Dami as a BKB Blink Dagger. Elven Tunic, of course, definitely a good item. Comparing Black Log to the offlaners. Um, Black Log with the BKB and a Blink Dagger with it as well. Might uh, be able to see some action here, but yeah. Oh! Feud. That's one hit, guys. That's one hit. I, I heard it. I <laughs> my camera was a little on a, on the wrong place. I'm sorry. I'm gonna apologize, but that was that was one click. <laughs> that was one hit. Um. Yeah. So I was comparing. We have um, Black Lock to Shania. She does have a Heart of Tarask, uh, Blink Dagger. You have a Vanguard. Uh, see, she's seemingly doing well. Arcane Blink Dagger Glimmers Feud with a Blink Dagger. Going for a four staff, okay. Man has no name. Blink. It's just a blink, okay. Hmm. Uh, Scepter. Okay, Scepter. It's a pause game with Lobby. <laughs> yeah, I mean, people are struggling with their... Uh, probably with their connections. Uh, that happens. It's, it's just... It's just how it is. It's just how it is. Oh, top lane. Okay. Oh, they're already pinging. I think right after the pause, we might be able to see something on this top lane. Shania, she does have a blink. She has to blink out. She's showing up in the lane. Juggernaut is close. Dami is close. Dami has a blink. Let's see if uh, Shania will be able to TP. I mean, they do not have anything to stop her from TPing, but she has to TP. <laughs> Exciting, exciting. We humbly accept this offering. All right, Shania turns around. Oh, uh, escapes. Okay, okay. Okay. That's decent. Controlling... Controlling the southeast outpost, or the radiant jungle outpost. Dire. I mean, according to me, this should be called northeast. Why, why, is, this, why is this called southeast? Oh no, okay. 
My bad. It is southeast. <laughs> I'm bad with directions, guys. I apologize. <laughs> oh, I'm so dumb. It is the southeast. <laughs> okay. There's the Scotty pickup uh, on Phantom Assassin. They're walking on to the bottom tower. We want to take it away. We're all giving out some vision. There's going to be some fire. Blood Seeker. They'll pop out the Rupture. Rocker is still going to stand there. Ooh. Ooh. The pause. <laughs> oh, no. Another pause, guys. I think... Oh, no. There is a charge coming in of Terrorize, guys. If they hit the charge for Terrorize, somebody has to body block the PA. If they do not, PA is gonna... PA is, PA is actually gonna take a decent amount of damage with the... with the Rupture and the Terrorize. And, and, Punch can hook. I don't know. What's gonna happen? <laughs> There's a lot that can happen. I also have to consider Axe. If they try to jump onto this PA, Axe might be able to save the life. I'm, I don't know, man. I don't know. I really don't know what's gonna happen after the pause. To anyone who's watching, guys, who do you think? Who do you think will be able to take this game away? Do you guys have any opinions? On how the game will go. Oh, somebody gifted me... What? Wait. Somebody gifted me a... Uh... Oh my god. Five. Alright, alright. It was Sayanthan. Yeah, okay. I'll just say thanks to him. <sighs> Alright. No comments after this. <laughs> okay. Alright, guys. We are ready. We are ready. We have to see what's gonna happen. We have to see what's gonna happen. Rupture into Terrorize. Oh, oh yeah. The VKB pop-up is gonna be there. Oh, but the blink in. Alright. PA is gonna be a little low. There is no more VKB. A four-man smoke coming out from Team Radiant. They would want to get a little aggressive in this, in this game. Understanding the fact that there's no more VKB on Phantom Assassin. Dragonite. Gets close. Oh. Not gonna find anyone. Maybe? Maybe? Yes, they will. Ah, there is gonna be this stun from Axe. And... If I, oh, the Omen Flash is gonna connect with Basal with a big time kill alongside Rocker. Both the supports are gonna go down. This is gonna be the third kill, I believe. Yes, it is gonna be the third kill. Basal will be able to secure that one. The critical is gonna be big time. And they are jumping now. It is gonna be a triple kill. And I believe it is gonna be Ultra. No, Rocker will secure a double. And Basal with a big time triple. They have turned the game around. The smoke just did not work out. For Team Radiant, and they're gonna lose every single one. A full five man wipe. Looking at the buybacks, there are a few buybacks. I believe there are two buybacks, three buybacks. There are three buybacks for the Radiant side, but nobody's buybacking as of now. Rush is gonna be up in another 40 seconds. Look at Basal as uh, Octarine Core now. Disruptor. Disruptor is Agnum Scepter, man. This, this, the mute that comes out from the items is just insane. Rocker. We're gonna go for the second tower. Looking out for the TP if someone's TPing. But so will right click the tower and secure it for himself. <laughs> Shania. Alright, 
there's going to be the bottle and a DD pickup. Very well played there. They're going to secure the DD for Phantom Assassin. Another three minutes were added, I believe. So we have another minute for the rush to spawn. Worked on the full 12 minute timer. Hmm. All right, there is a MKB pickup alongside of the Pentad Sword. 40 minutes in this game. This actually could be the last fight of the game. Let's see what happens. There are there are a few buybacks actually, not not the last fight. No buyback on the PA. Oh, the hook. They're gonna miss it. Basal gets spotted, backs up. Oh, all right. Rocker is gonna jump in with the BKB and Blacklock is now trying to escape but Pasol coming in with double ult and the critical is gonna be there they're gonna catch the PA but PA is not gonna stop satanic into the middle of the my god a triple kill one man army the PA three buybacks coming in from the radiant side let's see if they will be able to defend this they are pushing the team dire behind Rocker still has the double damage my goodness Whew. It is gonna be insane. Rocker. Goes back up. A man has no name. He'll be able to hook one, but two criticals right after another. PA is gonna be beyond godlike. 367 last hits in 42 minutes. 31k goal lead for the whole team. 29k not worth in the bag. Phantom is happening. Rocker is now leading. Rocker and Pasal are gonna be the damage dealers of every single team fight. 32k. Game seems really hard on the Radiant side. They are gonna lose their axe. <laughs> They're not gonna finish it. And yes, there. No MKB. I, uh, Bloodseeker has MKB, but. Um, yeah, it's this Bloodseeker. <clears throat> I think Juggernaut should have bought uh, MKB. That is going to be something that uh, I would consider personally. Last uh, racks. The last set of racks which is left. Which is going to be the top racks. Hmm. Radiance top tower. Yeah, could be. Could be. It very much depends on player to player, you know. How how players think. Like, every player thinks in a different way. I think... I personally think not Mjolnir, but at least Maelstrom was required to be able to farm. Oh, alright, there's gonna be the rupture into the hook. Shania jumps in, there's gonna be the kinetic field. And double ulti. PA jumps in behind. There's gonna be the finger of death. On to one. And Arkane secures the kill on our black lug. Pasal killed Fueled. Oh, man has no name, would want to jump in. There is the Glimmer Escape, but no. Oh, it's not a oh, man has no name. It's don't touch my main point. But oh, oh yeah, there's going to be a beautiful call into the Culling Blade. Easy peasy for Axe and Pasol. Shania and Pasol. But Jug didn't get the time for MK farm. Yeah, you're right. Oh, and GG has already been called. Well, so we have our winners, guys. That is gonna be Team Dyer. Team Dyer has won the game in 44 minutes. Amazing game, great comeback. And it was a GG. It was a good game. I, I super enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it.